All right. Good morning. I'm Brian. Um, I'm your deacon over Compassion. I just wanted to share, Doug asked me to share a gospel moment with you today about uh, what we just recently did. I won't make him stand up, but, um, oh, Rob's not here, but Dina Bango and Rob met a gal um, at the Fries near his house who was really in need. And Dina Bango, we reached out to her. She really helps us, Lori and I, a lot out in the ministry. And she was able to reach out and get decide what this gal really needed, Viola. Um, so they we were able to come alongside. And the awesome part is we as a church, it wasn't compassion ministry. It wasn't just Dina. It wasn't just Rob. It was a lot of you. I'm not going to name everyone's name because that will take me to that 20 minutes. But um, we will... Um, we all had a great opportunity to serve and donate couches, um, donate a bed, donate a bunch of clothes, and um, just a lot of things that she needed because she was leaving an abusive relationship from her uh, previous boyfriend, um, husband. So she moved in with her dad and had literally nothing with four kids. And so I want to thank you all for the support that you guys do because where it took me, where I started processing it, and I looked at Matthew 25, 37 through 40. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. We were the hands of feet. We served you served a woman who needed help, the four kids who needed help. And we got to not just, we, we're supposed to go out and preach the gospel, yes, but we actually were the hands and feet and actually got to be the gospel to her. And that's the exciting part. Um, there's still opportunity. Um, she still has a couple of the kids that don't have enough clothes. Um, her, her and her dad and two of the older kids got clothes, but there's an opportunity um, to still serve. So if you're interested and you think you can help, um, be in prayer about it. Talk to Dina or my wife, Lori, and after church, and we'd be happy to come alongside you and tell you how what we can do, okay? So I'm just going to pray real quick and get Jeff back up here. Lord, God, we thank you. It's through your spirit, through your relationship with you, that we get to serve others, Lord, because I know I wouldn't do it without you being the, being the head of me, Lord, and being the head of this church. You call us out of our comfort zone, and you lead us to help those to serve the least of those, and in doing so, serve you. And I pray that um, when we do sit um, before that judgment seat in front of you, Lord, that you can say you did serve the least of those, and you served me. And we thank you and we praise you for those opportunities. In your name I pray. Amen.